we should try our best to be good and allow ourselves to be molded by God. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's gospel, we find Jesus explaining the last judgment day figuratively, describing how the angels would separate the good and the bad, the good being sent to heaven and the bad to hell. In a way, Jesus explains to us through the parable that how we would be separated, some as good fish and some as not so a good fish from the net. In today's first reading, we can find God telling Jeremiah how he would mold us all. God can mold anything to the perfect state as he is. We can learn from this parable that we should try our best to be good and allow ourselves to be molded by God, so that we may be considered good on Judgment Day. Yet, we need not dwell on anticipating Judgment Day. Instead, we should try, we should reflect on our actions and strive to avoid wrongdoing. My dear brothers and sisters, if we are trying our best to do good every moment, let us strive to continue the same spirit with God's help. If we are not living the life we ought to live, let us seek God's grace to mold us the way He wants us to live. Just like how the potter in the first reading molded the pot that was damaged. For God says in Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 6, Behold, like a clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Amen. <music>